Hi, this is John with Saw Cell Electrical, and today we are going to show you how to do an electrical makeup for GFI and the switch makeup in the bathroom so that the switches are GFI protected. So, let's get started. Now, what you want to do is you mark your line by twisting your wires. So, when you hook up your GFI, you know that this is your line. Next, you get those out of the way and you grab what's called a crimp sleeve. This is a crimp sleeve. You just slip this crimp sleeve over your two grounds and you use your approved crimpers, okay? And you crimp down on that like your life depended on it. And then you go one, two, three, four, five turns. You clip off the extra one and you shove this back all the way back in. You then take your strippers at six inches right there. So you clip them off at about seven. And this is important, how you fold your wires in. What you want to do is you start from the top and about midway you put your finger on there and push it down. Push up on that. About midway again, you push up on it again. Okay, so they're in there in a nice elbow fashion. And then when you push them in, these wires are going to hit the top and hold those wires in. Anything that feeds out of that is also GFI protected. And this feeds from here, down, back up, and into here. Okay, so let's concentrate on the switch makeup. And all switching devices have to be grounded. So the first thing you want to do is grab another crimp sleeve we put that crimp sleeve over the four wires. The feed in is the GFI protection. The feed out is going over to that outlet right there. And that has to be GFI protected because there's a tub in this room. And the crimp sleeve is on. Okay. And this, this is no different than the GFI. You crimp that like your life depended on it. Five turns. One, two, three, four, five. Now you take the two longest wires and separate them. You clip off the two shortest wires. Now the next thing you do is you take your neutrals. Your neutrals are white. You clip those all off at the same length. And the next thing you do is you pair, take a pair of dikes, okay, and I use my finger to line these up so that they're all even. See, they're all even there. You take your dikes and you curl these together so that you have a really good connection on them. We want to cut this off so it's straight. You take the wire nut, you put it in your screw gun, and tighten it up a little bit. And then you just put that over there. And that baby is on there tight. That's sweet. Yeah. You then fold this, just like I showed you on the other ones, in a nice Z, Z fashion and um, a hammer works extremely good on this because it does not damage the wire. Okay, now these are your switch legs. This is your light leg. This is your fan leg. Get those out of the way. Here is your line in and line out. So what you do 
is you take a piece of extra wire here, you repeat the same process that you did on the neutrals. Note how I'm pushing those up against my thumb so that they're all even. For the person trimming out the house, the way that you stuff these wires um, is very important. See how I'm rolling that over and putting that all the way towards the back? Now you've got two hots here. You've got your grounds. And the homeowner happens to be here. So I'm going to ask him. You want the first switch to be the light and the next switch to be the fan? Yes. Okay. So here's the light. Here's the fan. This is where I, I go ahead and take these off momentarily. I know which ones are which. And basically, this is your power and your leg. For your light, you take your ground, you go around it, okay, and again, you cut these off. This is six inches, I cut mine at seven. Okay, let's just, we'll zoom back a little bit. That is how you do a nice pretty makeup. Now, these aren't in there as far as I would like. So like I said, you just take a hammer, it's rubberized. It will not hurt the wire in any way. And there's two reasons why you do that. First of all, you want your wires back. Also, when the drywaller comes in with his router to route this out, um, there's less likely of a chance of him hitting one of these wires and damaging it. And so that's how you do a makeup for a fan light combo protected by the GFI that I just made. And this is John signing out and stay tuned for the next lesson.